so before um, using uh, any cubic neck slicer um, turn your printer on turn your Ace Pro on make sure you've also configured the colors which are in the uh, Ace Pro on here and you do that by uh, clicking on that and then it'll come up with the colors you can change the color by clicking underneath um, if you actually click on it and then it comes up with a little pencil and you can change the color you can change the material um, and just make sure you've done that before you start using the slicer because you need to sync the any cubic neck slicer with this on the screen um, so that the slicer knows what colors are actually in your ace pro so once you've set up your printer and your ace pro um, and installed any cubic slicer next um, you'll come up with this screen um, i've already registered and logged into this so you might have to log in and register for it as well um, so let me just log in all right so i've signed in so the first screen you'll see is this this is actually um coming from maker world um, and projects which you've already done or looked at um, so the first thing you want to do is go to prepare um, this will bring up your all your options you can do so once you've loaded up your any cubic slicer um you need to you need to tell it what printer you, you you're actually using so mine's any cubic cobra 3 uh, with a four millimeter nozzle which you can um, adjust here um, if you want to actually tell it what printer um, you can also click on the top here and it'll bring up a printer selection so you can just click on the printer that you're using um, to actually get to actually start to print um, make sure you've uh, synced your ace pro this will tell it what colors um, are actually in your ace pro um, so if you just click on the synchronized filament and then continue sync it'll change the colors up here to whatever color you've got in the ace pro um, once you've done that you can import your file um, it does tell you what kind of files um, you can import um, so if i just do a do the stackable holder um, this is just from my other ones um, so this is your object you want to print um, if it's too big for the slice plate you'll get an error come out like this um, or if it's over the slicer plate um, you'll get an error come up like this so you can either move it so the error goes away or if it is too big um, you can uh, go up to scale and you can scale the project down so you can print it smaller or bigger um, once you've done that um, if you want to choose the color that you want to um, print it in if you click on here make sure you've clicked on the object first um, and then click on color painting um, you can obviously change the color um, I if you want to do smart full angle um, you've got the spheres the triangles height range and, and all your other tools um, if you just click on that it'll change the color and click off of that and then you go back to here um, you'll see all the stuff which was here has disappeared if you need it back just click on global it'll bring it all back up so your quality um, is your layer height your line width your seam um, you can obviously adjust the layer heights uh, and the first layer height as well um, so if you do something like that you can change it um, the strength um, these are all your walls your top bottom infill um, your sparse infill I always use gyroid um, it just seems to work better um, so you can adjust to whatever you want to print um, your speed is obviously your third speed layers uh, or your other layers um, when you while you're printing um, your support um, so you can enable support if you need support um, so that's if you're printing something that's got overhang or, or need supporting um, it'll print the supports and you can change the types of supports um, where it says type um, obviously for this I don't need it um, 
the multi material you can enable a prime tower um, I don't really need a prime tower I don't use prime towers very often um, it saves on filament um, and there's no real color change on here so I don't need it so I'll just click off of that um, obviously a flush option uh, options you can um, when you're flushing you can actually put it into the object infill or into a support um, on other you you can have a skirt if you want um, no brim uh, if you want a brim um, you can put it on auto it'll print a brim around the actual uh, object that you're printing you obviously don't need this on on this one um, you can also paint on supports um, if you need supports and uh, the printer's uh, default values are not working so if you click on your object and you click on where it says support painting um, you have a pen size so you can basically print on supports um, wherever you want the support um, this you obviously don't need it um, but you can you can print them on wherever you want um, and then when it prints out wherever you've painted it it will uh it will print out support um once you've you've got it how you want um let me just take some support off of here erase all painting because we don't need it um oops. once you've uh So once you've got your print how you want it, um, the next thing you do is you go up to preview. This will slice it and it will tell you it's generating. Over here it will uh, tell you the time, um, it's the total filament, the cost and prepare time, flash time and the model printing time. Um, and then all you do is click on remote print and it will send it to the printer and print. Um, once you've done that, um, if you go to workbench, you can change the, the speed. Um, I normally print mine on standard. Um, I normally print mine on quiet. Um, and you can just keep an eye on it. If you have a camera, it'll show up on here. Um, so that's just the basic use of using the AnyCubic uh, slicer next. Um, there's a lot more to it, but um, play about with it. It's a, it's a pretty good little slicer um, and I've never really had problems with it I hope it's helped you out and thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and keep an eye out for some of the other videos I'll be posting later on